absolutely. I totally agree with you, Sheila. Totally agree with you. I'm really upset. I'm upset every time I wake up in the morning and realize we euthanized more humans than dogs last year. So, $149 million by dispatching people early. I don't know if I can play this without getting a strike, but I'll try. I mean, while we're in the middle of a pandemic, this is what? The fuck charge, in charge of Kanatsi we're planning. Medical assistance in dying is an extremely difficult and personal issue for individuals and families. As a government, we need to make sure that the framework and the resources are in place. I made a video about a guy who got euthanized and they hit him from his own brother. No one said, hey, do you want to change your mind? I call them sacrifices. I don't even think it's about money. I think it's about blood sacrifices, to tell you the truth. For people to make informed uh, and uh, proper decisions. It can take dying to figure out. What Back in October 2020, the Parliamentary Budget Office of the federal government did a financial analysis of expanding medical assistance in dying as Bill C-7 was proposed to expand medical assistance in dying to the chronically ill. This ghoulish liberal federal government had the Hitlerian compulsion to do a financial analysis of just how much killing our grandparents and the depressed and the chronically ill around us would save the collapsing... Honestly, I'll probably get a strike if I play anymore. I'm going to put this on my other, my sacrifice YouTube channel. So, yeah, I'm pretty upset. My whole neighborhood pretty well qualifies. I'm pretty sure I've seen a clip where Trudeau said, if you don't like your new status in life, you know, only 25000 Okay, I will sign this.